Today, I'm going to show you the heroes that do their best to help animals that are in trouble. Some of them just can't pass by a poor animal. Others devote their lives to helping unlucky and miserable creatures. But they are all heroes because they have empathic souls. So be ready to feel your hearts get warmed. The people from Hope for Paw organization spend a lot of their time searching for stray dogs and cats. So they rush to the rescue when they get the call about scared homeless dogs sitting in the schoolyard. When the rescuers found her, she didn't understand they wanted to help. The dog didn't want to come closer, and the people had to pull a net not to let her run away. Besides, they had to use the snare to catch the frightened animal. Of course, the dog didn't like the idea of being caught, and she started fighting intensively. The dog was struggling so fiercely that she even managed to chew off on the snare. It took the rescuers a rather long time to put the nervous pup into a cage. But when people gave the poor thing some food and drink, she got a bit calm. On coming to the shelter, gave her a lot of love and tenderness. And all medical treatment, of course. Now, she is a very happy creature. But not only dogs suffer in the streets, there are a lot of homeless cats that need people's love and care. Look at this unhappy boy with his injured ear. He is so dirty and depressed. After such a terrible life, the poor animal couldn't believe he would be okay and that these people wouldn't do him any harm. But he could trust. He didn't even resist when the rescuers were washing him. He became so happy and relaxed when people were stroking him. It turned out that Teddy, as he was called, needed immediate medical care. He had some problems with his kidney functioning as the result of his living in the street. So he had to undergo the surgery. Teddy's recovery took seven months, but now he is completely okay. April from Parrot Playhouse Project told us the story about Karma the Owl. This bird was found with a broken wing on the porch of the house. It was obvious that the owl was badly injured. The pair, which found the bird, took it home and called the special service that could give the poor bird the help required. The specialists took the bird to the hospital, where the test showed that the owl had an infection. Besides, they found that the bird had been having her trauma for a long time. It was obvious that, if these people hadn't found the poor thing, the situation could have gone worse. But Karma was lucky. People usually don't like meeting venomous snakes in their houses or gardens, and very often they try to get rid of them not in a very appropriate way. But not in this case. There were two vipers that should be taken out of a human house safely. The rescuers from Animal Rescue India were very careful trying to draw the vipers out. They didn't do any harm to the snakes. After that, the people took the vipers to the wild, where these beautiful creatures were released. As you already noticed, elephant babies get into trouble very often, and people try to save them very often too. Now, this young guy fell down to the bottom of a ditch. With the help of the digging machine, the rescuers made something like a slight slope for the poor baby, and he could get out of the ditch. The grown-up elephant saluted the men who rescued their baby elephant. These giants were very grateful to their rescuers. The reunited family went back to their way. You know that marine mammals sometimes beach themselves, and if people don't help them, the end can be very sad. When a humpback whale washed up on the beach in Zoritos, a lot of people came to help to get the poor creature back out to sea. They had nothing but their bare hands, and all they could do was just push and push, moving it further into the water. Luckily, they did it at last. All of them were happy that the marine giant could go back to safety. They cheered when they were watching it swim away into the sea. Wild animals often do need people's help. The field researcher on the Kruger National Park wild dog, Grant Beverly, found a wild dog with snares on its neck. Of course, these snares were put not for this creature, but it was unlucky to get into it. The dog was in terrible condition, and the snares gave it a lot of pain. The rescuers had to send the dog to sleep. When the dog was asleep, the doctors cut off the snares, debrided the wound, and let the animal go. The wild dog got the chance to go on her life in the wild. Fishing is a really good hobby, but when people do this in the places where it is forbidden, some wild animals suffer. Simon Cowell from Wildlife Aid rushed to rescue a young coot chick that had fishing wire tangled around its beak. Of 
course, in this situation, the bird was suffering greatly. But to catch this bird was a very hard thing. Simon, with his assistant Lowry, spent a lot of time trying to do it. Going around in circles and trying to net the coot, they also managed to get the boat all caught up. But trying to swim away from rescuers, the chick managed to release itself. It would hardly do it if they didn't start catching it. There is a lot of trash in seas and oceans. Marine animals suffer greatly from this, eating plastic bags and other stuff. This little sea creature was found floating and struggling to dive. Sea turtles often mistake plastic bags, balloons, and other trash for jellyfish or squid. The problem is that sea turtles can't stop if they start swallowing. So they may become sick or even something worse can happen. And this little guy had eaten a balloon and couldn't dive. When doctors took the balloon out, the little boy had to stay on rehabilitation for two months. But after that, he was okay and was released to the wild. There is one more marine animal that got in trouble. A gorgeous four or five ton orca became trapped in the rocks on the British Columbia coastline. It was the tide to blame. The rescuers couldn't bring the orca to the water without hurting the animal, but they wanted to help. So people worked for almost eight hours to keep the orca wet until the tide came back in. They were constantly wetting her down to cool and avoid dehydration of the black and white beauty. At last, water began to rise. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. There was a great sigh of relief when people saw the animal could get out of the rock and swam away. I really hope you understand the importance of the things all these people have done. Please, help them in their great work. Subscribe to the channels, sending likes and sending donations if they ask to. What case was the most touching for you? Let me know in the comments below. Bye!